Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and in this video I just wanted to show you guys an operating system called Micro XP. So basically what this is, is a very very slimmed down version of Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 3. And with this it uses just 500 megabytes of hard drive space and after clean installation, less than 50 megabytes of RAM. So to show you some of this, before I actually boot into the operating systems via Parallels, which is a virtual machine's uh, piece of software for Mac OS X, there's also a version called Tiny XP, which comes with a few more pieces of software, and it uses a little bit more disk space at 700 megabytes, a little bit more than that, and it uses a little bit more RAM as well. So before I boot into it, here's a screenshot I took earlier today with Tiny XP. So I'm not too sure how well you can see it, but on the left it shows the disk space, so it uses about 700 megabytes, a little bit more again. And for the RAM that it uses, just 103 megabytes of RAM. Now if I switch over to Micro XP, you can see that it uses just a little bit over 61 megabytes of RAM and for the disk space, a little more than 500. So as you can tell, you could use this for a number of different situations. So for example, if you have an older computer that you still want to put sort of a recent or still usable operating system on, this is definitely a way to go. Or for, for my case, I want to use a virtual machine to play some of my older games on, such as Roller Coaster Tycoon, SimCity 4, The Sims. So this is absolutely perfect for that in every possible way. And another reason why this is good is because my MacBook Air has just 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if I want to use Windows 7 or Windows 8, it uses much more memory than these two operating systems combined. So before I boot into these, I'm going to go ahead and boot into Windows 8 to show you what I'm talking about and sort of set the stage for a little bit of a comparison for the three different operating systems. So after Windows 8, I'll go into Tiny XP real quick to show you that. And then after that, I'll go into Micro XP and show you that. So here we are inside of Windows 8. As you can tell, it boots very quickly inside of a virtual machine on a solid state drive. And here we are at the desktop. So if I go to Task Manager, now I do have some software installed, such as Steam, Fraps, and some others. Also log me in. And if we go over here to Performance, you can see that it's using uh, 800 and okay right now it's using over a gig but it's still loading different processes and doing different things so after a little while it typically goes to about in the 800 megabyte range and it sort of stays there for a while right now it's in the 700 so as you can see it uses much more RAM than the other two operating systems so because I'm using or because my laptop has just four gigabytes of RAM there's not too much I can do from within the virtual machine itself or in Mac OS X, the host OS. So if I wanted to check my email or something, that would be a little bit more slower because of the RAM that's being used by the virtual machine. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and show you the virtual machine settings that I have for all three operating systems so you can tell, although if I remember correctly, they're actually all the same. So for my Windows 8 virtual machine, I uh, gave it one gig of video memory, which I think is too much. 256 would probably have been plenty. Uh, oh, the general tab is where I need to go. So I, I gave it all four cores. It's a dual core processor, but it's multi-threaded, so it acts like a four core processor. I gave it a gig and a half of total available memory. And I think for these other two, it's pretty much the same. So, yep, that's the same there. And that's the same there. So now we're going to go into Tiny XP. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is it basically has a few more software additions than Micro XP, so it allows you to do more things right out of the box without having to reinstall different drivers or pieces of software. Now, I will say that once I got this installed, the boot times were much faster than this. It's that after I installed VM or, or excuse me, Parallels tools and made things a little bit slower because there are more drivers and things that have to be loaded at boot. Let me go ahead and adjust the resolution so it looks a little proper on here. Let me go ahead and move this to the left so the window here looks. There we go. So now this should look actually 800 by 600 pixels. So this is Tiny XP. As you can see, we do have the default Luna. I think that's what it's called, the Windows XP theme. If I go into Task Manager, you can see that it's using just a little bit under 100 megabytes of RAM. And I don't actually have anything installed on this installation at all, other than the Parallels tool, so that all the virtual hardware works the way it should. 
So this is that. If I go over here, you can see that it uses, like I said, just a little bit more than 700 megabytes of RAM. So that's Tiny XP. Now we're going to go into the one that I've been using and the one that I will use from now on, which is Micro XP. Now, if you noticed, I haven't told you where you can get this. That's because, well, not only should you look for it yourself, it's this, the legality surrounding this is a little bit questionable. So depending on where you get it or if you have a legitimate copy of Windows XP before, beforehand, it may or may not be legitim legitimate. So let's just leave it at that. And since I'm going to be sticking with Micro XP, I don't need these other operating systems. So I could just go ahead and delete those from my MacBook Air right now. So now let's go ahead and boot into Micro XP. The latest version is 0.87 from the official source. Um, I think there were some modif uh, modified versions of this, some newer ones available, but I like sticking with the official sources. And here we are loading it again. And you're going to see that it's a little more stripped down than Tiny XP, but its memory footprint is a bit less. So it does take a little bit longer than Tiny XP to boot as well. And but once it's once you're at the desktop like it just finished, it performs just fine. So let me adjust the resolution so it looks the way it should. And here we are. So this is it. This is Micro XP. You can see it's extremely the bare minimum of Windows XP. If I go over here to my computer, you can see that it's using a fair amount of space, but that's because I do have my games installed already and I do have some more planned. You can see that I have five games. I have all of them stored in the games folder here. So you can see Crazy Taxi, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and the first Roller Coaster Tycoon, as well as SimCity 4 Deluxe and The Sims Complete Collection. All of these work perfectly in this virtual machine, which is just fantastic. In terms of additional software that I have installed, let me go to the Add Remove Programs. Of course, we have Crazy Taxi. I have Fraps for keeping track of my frame rates. Google Chrome, Link Shell extension for Sim Links. Parallels Tools, the USB 3 driver, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, as well as the Sims Complete Collection. Now, if I go over to Task Manager, you can see that the RAM is a little bit more than Tiny XP. That's because, like I said, I do have things installed different services in the background and whatnot so it does use a little bit more but compared to Windows 7 and Windows 8 this is much much lower than those mentioned operating systems which is fantastic on my air because like I mentioned I just have four gigabytes of RAM Mac OS 10 itself uses one and a half to two so that leaves not a whole lot for any other operating system so this is perfect in comparison to Windows 7 or Windows 8 for the particular things that I like to do so as a little demonstration, let me go ahead and open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. You can see it opens up plenty quickly. Works just like it should. All of my very old saved games are here. Uh, I can load any of these I want to, and it works just fine. Let me go ahead and adjust the resolution of this. And there we go. So here's one of the parks I made a long time ago. And trying to figure out how to right click. I think the way I did this before is to just change the trackpad settings a little bit. There we go. So as you can see, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is playing perfectly inside of this rather old Windows XP virtual machine. So this is really fantastic to me. I'm very happy that everything works exactly as it should. So I could easily play some of my old titles inside of, Mac, inside of Mac OS X without having to actually boot into Windows via Boot Camp. As you can see, I don't even have my Boot Camp partition on my MacBook Air anymore. So I'm just going to be sticking with this virtual machine because it works just as it should. Everything works exactly like it did when the games first came out and I was playing it on my old computers and whatnot. So this is just great stuff. As one more demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and open up The Sims Complete Collection. One thing I noticed about Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is that it doesn't put the uh, display depth or color quality back to 32-bit after the game is closed. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up The Sims Complete Collection, and there we go. You can see Fraps working in the upper left corner. So some of the other games I do plan on putting on here is Flat Out. It's a 3D racing game from a while back. 
some other games as well. I might do more of a uh, complete overview of this specific setup in a later video, but as you can see, here's The Sims working just fine. Oops. It's working just as it should. It performs just fine. And everything is just fantastic. So that's it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon. As you can see there, it shuts down fairly quickly. So that's it.